Just when the world thought Toyota had gone quiet, it pulled off the boldest move yet, and now the entire industry is on edge. While other automakers were busy dazzling with flashy presentations and marketing hype, Toyota was working in silence, crafting something that has now completely rocked the foundations of the market. No teasers, no leaks, just a thunderous reveal. In a sudden and striking announcement, Toyota CEO sent a clear message that shook the auto world. Asterisk, our new dynamic force engine will crush the competition. Asterisk, this wasn't just a product launch, it was a declaration of war. Insiders reveal that this engine isn't just an upgrade, it's a complete reinvention. It breathes new life into hybrid technology while surpassing the limits of traditional combustion engines. And that's exactly why the spotlight has shifted from Tesla to Ford to BYD. Everyone is now watching Toyota. But what exactly is this dynamic force engine? What makes it such a radical move in Toyota's history? And why are rival boardrooms scrambling to respond? To understand that, we need to rewind a bit. Why is Toyota still betting big on gasoline engines when the rest of the world is speeding toward electric vehicles? While the entire industry races to pair batteries with motors, Toyota has taken a different and surprising path. Not only has the company kept its internal combustion engines alive, it's unveiled an entirely new one, the Dynamic Force Engine. This leads to a major question. When EV leaders like Tesla, BYD, and Ford are doubling down on electric innovation, why is Toyota doubling down on engines? Actually, the thinking behind Toyota is not just about today's trend, but about the coming decades. Toyota knows that EV is a progressive change at the moment, but this change is not the same for everyone. Many big markets like India, Africa, Southeast Asia, and the Middle East are still behind in terms of EV infrastructure. Here, charging stations, stable power supply, and logistics of EV batteries are still a challenge. In such a situation, Toyota believes that by focusing only on EVs, it will ignore crores of consumers. Toyota has a special strategy, the multi-pathway strategy. This means that the company believes every market has its own needs, and a single solution does not fit everywhere. Under this thinking, Toyota has worked on EV, hybrid, plug-in hybrid, and hydrogen, all four. And the dynamic force engine is a part of this thinking. This engine has been designed to give more power with less fuel, less pollution, and longer life. That is, Toyota is targeting those customers who cannot afford EVs but want better mileage and modern technology. Apart from this, Toyota's biggest strength is its trust and long-term value. People know that Toyota's vehicles run for years and their engines never fail easily. This belief encourages Toyota to continue investing in traditional technology. Also, Toyota's hybrid technology, such as the Prius, has shown that a mix of petrol and electric power could be a great solution, especially in countries where EV charging is still a distant dream. Toyota engineers also understand that petrol engines can be made as efficient as EVs with the right technology. The dynamic force engine is an example of this, where airflow, compression ratio, and heat management have been modified to increase performance while reducing environmental impact. Toyota wants to prove that thinking EVs are the only future is a limited way of thinking, and that smart engine technology can also compete in the future market. Toyota believes that not only EVs are the future, but petrol engines also have a lot of room for improvement. With this thinking, Toyota has launched its dynamic force engines, which have been made by breaking away from old thinking. These are not minor updates, but part of Toyota's global design system called TNGA which makes vehicles more durable, more fuel-efficient, and easier to manufacture. While other companies are engaged in becoming fully electric, Toyota believes that both types of technology, petrol and electric, should run together. The company CEO clearly says that these new engines are part of their larger strategy. Their aim is to deliver more performance with less fuel, less pollution, and a more reliable experience. Toyota has already shaken up the automobile industry with its dynamic force engine, but this is just the beginning. The real question now is, what will be Toyota's next big thing? Is Toyota developing a super hybrid 
that combines the power of petrol, the efficiency of electric, and the future readiness of hydrogen? We can get the answer to this question from Toyota's thinking, its research, and its upcoming projects. First, let's talk about solid-state batteries. Toyota has been working on solid-state batteries for the last several years. These batteries are quite different and more advanced than today's lithium-ion batteries. They contain solid material instead of liquid electrolyte, which makes them safer, more durable, and capable of faster charging. Toyota claims that their solid-state batteries can extend the range of an EV to 1,000 kilometers on a single charge and can be charged in just 10 minutes. Now imagine what happens if Toyota mixes this technology with their dynamic force engine. We get a super hybrid that not only delivers high efficiency, but also doesn't require frequent charging. When the EV mode is required, the solid-state battery will be active. And when power or long drives are needed, the dynamic force engine will kick in. With this super hybrid, Toyota can create a segment that is neither completely EV nor completely fuel-based, but a combination of the best of both. Now, let's talk about hydrogen technology. Toyota has already shown the world that hydrogen fuel cells are a strong option with cars like the Mirai. Hydrogen-powered cars are extremely clean for the environment as they emit only water. And now, Toyota is preparing to take its dynamic force engine to that level. According to some recent reports, Toyota's our backslash and D-team is testing the dynamic force engine to run directly on hydrogen. That is, hydrogen will be burned directly in the engine instead of using a fuel cell. This will not only provide power, but the system will feel like a traditional engine, just without the CO2 emissions. While other companies are running in just one direction, Toyota is preparing to catch the future from all sides. It is balancing EV, hybrid, hydrogen, and combustion technology, creating an option that fits all markets, especially in countries where EVs are not yet fully practical. This super hybrid technology will make people not feel the need for EVs at all. Also, this technology will be so flexible that no matter which fuel becomes dominant in the future, Toyota will be prepared. The company's engineers have already said that in the next five years, Toyota can introduce a car that can use solid-state batteries, dynamic force engines, and hydrogen. If this proves to be true, Toyota will not only change the rules of the auto industry, it will give a new face to technology itself. In the end, it would not be wrong to say that Toyota's next big thing will not be just a car, but a whole new idea. And when it comes... Other companies will probably have to return to the starting line of the race once again. If you want to be the first to know more technology insights like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, because the future starts now.